I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right away. Bruce Lee, once again, ready to engage in a big spot here tonight. So Israel Adesanya obviously was mashing through the middleweight division until his rival Alex Pereira showed up. But as he gets back on the proven ground here tonight, DC, most people believe on any given Saturday night, this is still the best middleweight in the world. Well, he's proven it time and time again. He has been the man for so long, it would seem hard for him not to operate in that space. But because he believes in himself, because he recognizes who he is, he takes wins and losses as good as anyone I've ever seen. But when it comes down to the X's and the O's, the guy in his fight ability, Israel Adesanya is as good as they come. A phenomenal kickboxer in much improved wrestling that allows for him to stay upright and make guys fight him where he needs him to. Really seems as though he is getting closer to that mixed martial arts prime to your point in terms of putting all the skills together. Israel Adesanya, the last style bender, back in the octagon here tonight. Referee for this Ready. one. Well, Israel Adesanya, as hot a prospect as has crossed into the UFC in years, he is known as an outstanding kickboxer. And as such, a lot of his UFC opponents are going to try to take him down, as his past victims will attest. That is a whole lot easier said than done. Beautiful one two punch. Oh, and you can hear it bone on bone. Nice elbow land. Oh, beautiful land there by Adesanya. He just crowd just eating out of his hand, oohing and on every time he advances. I mean, he just captures your imagination from the walkout to the entrance when he's in the octagon, the fighting style. He just kind of has that thing that makes you want to stop and stare at Israel Adesanya. Big punch lands through the middle. I mean, right away, no feeling, out process. These boys just went start fighting. Well, he is a tactician. He does not discriminate when it comes to his weapons. There's a sidekick. That sidekick can go to the legs or to the body. What a technique. Able to land to the body there with the left kick. Huh. Oh, back and forth we go. Leg kick lands. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. Lands a solid kick right there. Lands a right hand out of that exchange. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking point. I mean, it's stringing them together so effectively, never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Beautiful block there. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. 
Ali gets caught by the inside leg kick. Nice shot there by the champ. Oh, solid kicks are landing. He has most certainly found the range on the feet. Lee gets tattooed with that hook. Beautifully timed and placed. Under two minutes now to go in the opening round. Oh, nice. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Beautiful kick to the body. That was great head movement. Oh, man. He missed with that jab attempt there. to the head there by Adesanya. That's not a good stick to the head. Lee gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Final minute of round one. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. Oh, that's a nice strike. Try to establish that jab. Oh, beautiful straight right hand there from Israel Adesanya. You know, you worry so much, DC, about the kicking game. Sometimes you forget about those hands on Israel Adesanya. So we crossed the 30 second mark in our opening round. He throws all of himself into that kick. Both fighters throwing heat now. Clean hook there. Final seconds. <laughs> Round two is next. All right, take a seat, man. Deep breath, deep breath. All right. Now, I need you to refocus, and we're going to take this fight in a different direction. I want you to start. All right, so it was all about the liver kicks and the body attack in that previous round. DC, the highlight. The liver kick is a nasty kick because it only takes one to land in the perfect spot, and it will shut your body down completely. You won't be able to stand. You won't be able to fight. All you want to do is exit the octagon. He better get his elbow down or his opponent's Ready. going to continue to take Ready. advantage of that Go. weakness. All right, round two. All right, so the next round is underway. Will it be more of the same? And by that, I mean all of those strikes to the body. you got to think at some point the opposition is going to lower that guard or get finished. And that's exactly what he is hoping for. All those great body shots, all that damage he's put on his opponent will force an opening up top where he will look to finish. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Well, as my favorite rap group Onyx would say, stick and move, right? Huh. Beautiful slip off the center line there. Yeah, what a great job of moving his head. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. Sidekick lands for him there, champ. A lot of times that is used to manage space. And that's, that's very badly. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Big right hand. Big knee to the body. All right, so he lands again, just like we saw in the last round, realizing a lot of success with his Muay Thai game. You know, why change it? It's working, and it's working from the very start of the fight. The moment this fight started, you saw the advantage that we predicted was there. He started to take advantage of it early, and now he's continuing to build on that. This kickboxer looks amazing tonight. 
right, so the redness is omnipresent now. He has absorbed a whole lot of body strikes. Pretty good poker face, but I'm not sure how many more of these he wants to take. No, he doesn't. He needs to do something different. He cannot continue to get beat up like this. But it's on his opponent. It's on the guy that is landing these strikes to continue down the path until he makes you change something. Do this over and over because it seems like this is your easiest path to victory. Well, when you see Adesanya work on the feet, it's no wonder he's drawn comparisons to the great Anderson Silva, as he is so fond of saying, I don't throw in hope, I aim and fight. Just misses with the jab there. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent at will. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. And he can fight everywhere, meaning he can fight on the ground. He can fight in the stand -up. But he's also able to do it because his cardio is so good. Right. This is one of the best fighters that we have seen for a long time. And it is showing in this performance. Great job fighting behind the limbs. Oh, nice. Nice. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Oh, nice. Body shot. Man, is he landing volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Less than a minute now to go in round two. Don't get mad, get even, right? He got stunned by his opponent earlier in the round. He's clearly been losing since. And mentally, it appears as though he's checked out a little bit. A lot easier said than done. When his opponent has the power that he possesses, it's hard for him to say, you know what? I'm going to take one to give one. Oh, is that a switch kick? It's such a beautiful technique when done the right way. All right, so that calf starting to show some signs of damage a little bit. Taking too many leg kicks. Got to check him. Seconds winding down in round two. All right, that's the end of round number two. So there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting them over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a firefight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Big shot lands for both guys. Trying to establish that jab once again. Needs a jab there. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit.
So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So when you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish the fight. Well, new round, same narrative. He continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous frame. Nice connection on the counter punch there. And oftentimes, DC, it can be easier to be a counter striker when you have such a pronounced edge in reach. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Come on, man, I need more Let's go. Slips to avoid that left. Three minutes to go in round three. Can't take many of those, you better check. Slips the punch. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Oh, I think he's still compromised. We'll see if he can recover here. He's in a world of trouble. Adesanya's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Nice punch to the head. Oh, oh big diving punch lands up top. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. Nice technique on the sidekick. Under 90 seconds to go. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing strike. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of... Oh! Is there bad? Well, I'm not sure if I should knock his fight out of here, but it seems like he's sort of playing around here. It feels like the finish is there for the table. Yeah, the finish is there. And he needs to take his time to try and find it. Don't rush. Be patient. And in that patience, you'll find a punch or kick that will put your opponent out. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just... Oh! And there it is! Back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight.